Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another report. First thing, I have to say sorry for missing out on some daily uploads, but recently I've been feeling a bit lost, needed some time to think to see what direction I wanted to take myself in. But today I got you something that's insanely surprising with a physical Celestina running steel roller. But before that, make sure you guys remember to like, comment and subscribe as this really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and helps me with the secret sword spreading around. Also guys, be sure to join the Discord if you guys want to know the latest secret source even earlier and discuss Series 7 team builds and more. Um, and lastly, I stream every Friday at twitch.tv slash pp115 every Friday at 7pm UK time to catch me deep in the action. Also now we have some nice Podforce merch, so check the link in the description below to support me with merch. Without further ado, let's jump in. Everyone is running some special bulky Leech Seed, Flamethrower, Flash Cannon and Air Slash variant, but no longer. I will showcase you this Omega Insanity physical set that catches people off guard, sometimes, allowing you to get max moves off without being hindered by Will-O-Wisp or anything in the meta because, you know, no no one will will a wisp a special fit, right? Pairing this guy up with coaching and speed sw swap support from Ferramosa, even just one coaching boost can make Celesteela the greatest bamboo rocket wall thing that you've ever seen in your whole life. Accompanied with beast boost and getting quick knockouts can easily snowball you win. This Celesteela set is running a life or variant, you can even run weakness policy on this guy as well as you can run lava plume with Entei, but more on that when we go on to get onto the Entei video showcase. Uh, ability of Beast Boost because it's our Ultra Beast, it's a murder trucking beast, guys. Uh, 252 HP, 252 attack, and 4 special defense. Adamant Nature, of course, uh, with the moveset Fly, Steel Roller, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. I can't emphasize enough how good Fly is in this meta, especially because you can Dynamax and you don't have to, it's not awkward anymore to use. But Nani, where's my Protect? Sorry guys, but it's extremely important to run Rock Slide at the moment for all them Rotom heats around. It's a guaranteed Oko as long as Rotom doesn't Dynamax. The other coverage again is very important, being Steel and Ground for Defense Boost. Uh, in the special side and the physical side as max moves and lastly fly for max airstream boost. Having all of these coverage which is amazing because his base stats allows you to quickly steel roll threats down. Talking about steel roller, why we're running steel roller over iron head isn't because of the extra max steel spike base power as it's basically the same being 130 but it's the utility to take away the terrain which is everywhere with the Tapus running around, uh, Rillaboom and Didi as well. Especially with Tapufini around, Steel Roller easily does around 60-70% to 70 damage to Tapufini and couples with having Among Us in our team uh, as they always tend to switch in Fini for that misty terrain to stop your spores from giving your enemies a sweet dream. Having Steel Roller and Fly can be awkward sometimes but having Rock Slide allows you to have a button to always click when you when when you can't adjust to the awkward situation and uh, ba yeah basically the steel roller is to support the among us and it allows you to spore safely definitely guys try out physical status today. it can definitely catch a lot of people off guard and easily see through games with beast boots or even just trying out uh, running a mon with steel roller in this meta you won't regret it for sure steel roller i believe is quite important but run it at your own cost of losing perhaps protect and maybe it's a little bit of awkwardness sometimes regardless let's go see it in action all right what do we have here oh we have a stuck a ducker stuck a ducker does he have a way to get trick room up um yeah he has a way to guarantee trick room with indeed he stuck a ducker uh, he also got a fast mode, which is actually quite spooky. Um, that mode might be even scarier than... That mode m could be pretty scary, actually. Um, yeah, that mode looks horrendous, ho horrifying, to be honest with you. Um... I think we could go with Stella Stealer and Tapufini. Still, uh, I think we should go with Stella Stealer and Tapufini. Um, this gives us a lot of options. We can, if he goes for the slow mode, we can go with uh, Tapufini, Calm Minding. Uh, and if he goes for Regi, Regi Aliki, we have a chance to, to do that as well. Um, do we have Pheromos at the back though? I think we have, we definitely have Among Us at the back. Among Us is not too bad. And uh, let's let's have 
Pheromosa. Let's have Entei. Let's have Entei. We, we don't have- we don't need our queen this round. Um, actually... Actually... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this team. Uh, thank you guys for all coming uh, to the second episode of this team. Let's see what we can get out of it. Okay, he actually does go with the Ndidi Stakataka mode. Um, I was dreading this. I was really, really dreading this, um, but I think we should be fine to be honest with you. Um, as long as we get like a few calm minds up. Um, his other trick room Pokemon is the is the Glacier. I'm actually quite scared of the Glacier to be honest with you. Uh, I think I'm just gonna straight up Dynamax the, the, the next turn. Um, so what are we gonna do this round? We're gonna go. Oh, actually, maybe it's a, maybe it might be a good thing to start Dynamaxing now, so we can get Steel Spike Boost uh, going. Um, but definitely Calm Mind here, and we're gonna go with the Steel Roller. Uh, we'll we'll be going with the Steel Spike, um, I believe, um, because I think we need a Defense Boost up for the Glacier that's gonna be inevitably coming out very very soon. Um, Let's see. Let's see what he opts for though. We get our Dynamax boy out. You just follow me. Okay, he is going to go for the guaranteed... Um, guaranteed Trick Room here. Uh, this might look like I'm blowing my load early. But I'm setting myself up to be able to sweep with Tapu Fini because a couple of defense boosts on Tapu Fini uh, will probably allow her to sweep through the whole team. And especially with the Indeedee surviving there, it's crucial. Um, you're probably wondering why it's crucial. Um, it's crucial because um, it gives me one more boost before the glass tray comes out. Very, very important, guys. Very, very important. Um, of course, uh, we're going to attack the stack attacker in case this Ndidi doesn't follow me this turn. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what he goes for though. Helping hands. Okay, I'm shocked. I'm officially shocked, boys. Um, I'm very, very sick, yeah. Okay, we get- Oh, he doesn't- But, actually... We might be okay. Um, depends on how strong this- How much damage this does to our Tapu Fini. Wait, actually... We outsped? Oh, it went for Rock Slide, actually. Nice, we got a double- Clean double KO there. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, that's- That's the best case scenario, honestly. Um, yeah. That's perfect. Nice. Uh, Cinderace and uh, Glacier. Okay. I mean, we're definitely faster than. Uh, under Trick Room, so we can probably kill the Cinderace and be in a pretty decent position actually, to be honest with you. Um, I don't want to proc potential weakness policy, so I definitely want to hit the Cinderace here. Um, he could potentially protect though, um, as well. So maybe just going for the Steel Spike is good enough onto the Cinderace, because we want as much defense boost as possible. Uh, because he's got a Dynamax as Glacier, we want to survive with our Tapu Fini and basically be able to kill the Glacier with our Tapu Fini. Or just tank through the Dynamax and trick him. But the double up from the Tapu Fini plus the Celesteela should be enough to kill the Cinderace. Uh, if he changes to Sucker Punch or Dark for me, um, 
It's even better. Okay, no, he just off sword attack, which is okay. Uh, it was understandable. He kind of needs it. Uh, he goes for a max health storm, okay? Uh, to our status, this should do like 2 damage. Uh, close. 20 damage. Uh, <laughs> but now we get our third steel spike boost, and we should be in a pretty good shape right now. Um, Oh, that does shocking amounts of damage uh, through the protect too, um, and the, the muddy water is not going to be doing too 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 bad damage either, unless it misses, of course. Okay, that does horrible damage. It could be on AV actually. This uh, glacier could be on AV. Um, okay, this turn, definitely just another muddy water turn. Uh, we could just go pro double protect here as well. I mean, not double protect. Um, uh, hmm. I think we just muddy water here. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with muddy water. And we can also just steel spike. I mean, steel roll. I kind of want to see the animation. Uh, <laughs> Alright, we'll fly. Maybe rock slide. Oh no, because that'll proc potential weakness policy here. Uh, I think this is the best uh, play um, that we can try. Okay, we got the fly off. Nice. Actually dropped two. We went for the fireball too. Um, this is... Nice. <laughs> okay. Um... I think this is the last turn, so we could potentially just protect her and be in a pretty decent spot. I mean, he, he's got to protect, right? There's no way he's not protecting. But I'm protecting because um, I, I want to get my berry off. He, he also wants to kind of um, take up, uh, remove his own trick room as well at this point for his Cinderace to do some good damage. Okay, nice. We we still have four Pokemon uh, in the back though, so um, I think we're we're not to not in a bad position here. And also the Cinderace is quite close to death. Oh no! The terrain just ran out. We can't steel roll. Damn it! Definitely wanted to showcase the steel roller. Um, okay. I think I just want to guarantee the death of the Cinderace here. So I'm just going to go with... Uh, wait, wait. Is Trick Room still up? Trick Room is not up. So the so Steeler might die here. Um, that's fine though, I guess. Is that fine? Yeah, it's fine. Parable comes through. Does it miss though? Looks like it doesn't miss because um, the Libro comes out. Even with the defense drop. Damn, this guy is hitting Parables out of his mind. Um, that's, that's okay though. Uh, I went for the Dazzling Gleam just in case I missed the Muddy Water. Um, actually that kind of was ended up wasted because of, we didn't need to care. Oh damn, this glass is pretty thick to be honest with you. But at least we get the berry off. As you can see, the the triple steel spike boost really helps out um, <laughs> in this end game uh, versus the glass here. And look at what we have, an uh, Entei. Right at the back, waiting for our glacier. Hello! 
<laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Entei crew. Sacred Fire comes out. Ha boom! Yikes, that didn't kill. Hopefully, this doesn't miss. Ooh. That was close. But if. I mean, if it doesn't kill, usually um, you get a burn. Or you, it just missed completely. But, you know, Sacrifice is very, very good. 50% chance to burn, guys. That's like you either hit it or you don't. Which is very, very good odds. I think. <laughs> but yeah, this showcases you also the power of a more offensive um, set of Steeler instead of the Leech Thief, Flame Flower stuff. Um, special set that you've been seeing. Um, mostly because it, like you can just get some boosts off with you can get steel spike boosts off and then you can if you get KO you get beast boost and that allows you to get uh, more damage and lead you to snowballing even harder or you can set yourself up with um, max air streams or steel spike max quakes um, you name it is still a steel got everything you need <laughs> 